Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence and historical fantasy novel I Am Mercy and today we're going to be talking about something that's come up quite a bit in my past few videos. So I've been making this series of videos called Marketing for Authors and one of the things that's come up is um, how soon you should be creating your online presence. I did a video about your author website and then also about social media. So of course that question has to arise, you know, do I need this if the book isn't even published yet? When should I start creating? this online presence and the simple and short answer is right now as soon as possible. So the basic premise of marketing is to gain followers. The point of gaining followers is that so when you publish a book you will have readers. The way you gain followers and the way you gain readers is by establishing trust. This is extremely important. Um, if you create content like blog posts or YouTube videos then your subscribers will come to trust you. They will see you as a reliable source of information and you know the YouTube videos and the blog posts are free. When something like your book pops up they may be more willing to spend their money on it. They read your blog, they watch your videos, they follow you on social media, they know you create good content. This means they will assume that your book is also good content as it should be. That means if you are present online, odds are you will have people who will want to read your book. So a lot of the problem with new authors is that they know they need to be online but they don't know how to be. And they feel like they can only post about their book like they just the blog and their YouTube channel is only for sharing content about their book and they are wrong. When you are a self-published author and you have a book coming out for the first time, there's not much to update about. When Essence first came out, I was lucky if I had exciting news once a month, never mind once a week. And once a week is kind of when you want to be posting. If you're creating a blog or a YouTube channel, once a week is a good place to start. You want to start gaining followers online before your book gets published. That way when it is published you have readers who are excited to purchase it. If you don't start marketing online and creating an online presence until after the book gets published, one, you won't have sales right away, and two, it's just going to be very disheartening for you because you're going to feel like you're shouting out into the void. For any book, there's a lot of online buzz when a book is first launched, and if you don't have an online presence to start with, it's really hard to create that, and even if you do make a huge online presence later, it's hard to recreate the buzz that you get when your book is first published. Finally, we come to the question of what should you be posting then? You can, of course, post publishing updates and all that. That's, that's absolutely valid, but you aren't going to have enough to post about. So what else is there? Next week, I will be talking about the types of things you should be posting on your YouTube and your blog. That way, you can just gain followers and kind of have a collection of readers who will want to pick up your book. So be sure to subscribe so you can see that next week. Give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys for watching.